Hey guys, so I am giving all of my girls their Epsom Spa for the month. It's the beginning of the month. I usually like to do that at the beginning of the month so I don't forget. And when I do that, I take a really good look at Le Orchids. So if you grow your orchids in moss and they came in moss, I like to put mine in really tight moss to begin with until I see that. You see that beautiful new root growing? So she's been in here since July. And what I will do is I just reuse the moss. I will do it dry uh, because it's a little easier to take it out. Now it is a little damp on the inside. It's not wet, it's just damp. I'll just pull it out. And then this way, it gives me an opportunity to look at the roots that were in there. And I do have my sterilized whiskers here to trim off any of the old roots that may have given given up because they didn't didn't like the, the, the repot or for whatever reason and then just take her out uh, a lot of her roots are gone i just put that moss take it all out of there as much of it as i can because i will be reusing it and i'm going to put it in something different because i realized this little basket is a little too small because when I did put her in here and the other one I've already repotted her but I was getting ready to do this and I was like oh let me just do a quick video and show you <clears throat> excuse me and show you because I know some of us grow in nothing but moss and some of us want to grow in moss but don't know how or aren't confident to do it maybe know how just don't have that confidence and then I'll just loosen it up a little bit take out any any yucky pieces I might see. Let's just fluff it out a little bit. And then let's look at her root system real quick. So she is a little dry right here, but she does have a root tip growing here. There's a root tip. Let's see, that one is completely gone. So I always like to keep my Fiskars handy whenever I am watering just for such things as this and even if I'm not repotting if I happen to see a root or something on one of my plants that I don't want on there I can cut it off all right and there's that beautiful new root careful of it and that's all I'm going to do to that and then I'm going to put her in this I believe it's a three inch octagon basket I'll just put a little bit of moss at the bottom make a nice little little bed of moss and I'm gonna put it in there nice and loosely now that those that new root is on its way if these older roots decide that they don't like the looser moss then she has another root system coming her way and I like to try to catch them when they're at the beginning like that because I tend to get a little clumsy and break roots and if you can see i do have a sweatshirt on it is 73 in the house with the windows open i know some people would still consider that warm anything below 75 and i get a little cool and then i will top this off now i didn't have it when it was in the basket but i will top it off with some bark just to keep algae from building up and i will put this in a decorative pot as well again to help keep the algae off now what i'm doing back here where that that new root is coming i'm making sure that there's moss around it so that i encourage it to go down and not become aerial because if i make blah, if it becomes aerial then of course that defeats the purpose right taking advantage of a new root growth all righty there we go so she's in there nice and loose and then i'll top her off with some bark like I just said, but that's still the moss that's left over. So she came out of this and everything I just put in here and all that was crammed into this little space here. So when you first get your orchids, even if they're um, the, the bigger ones and they're all in moss and you want to put them back in moss, cramp them really tight until you see new root growth, take them out repot them the way you want them to and because these are heavier drinkers 
or in my case, they're heavier drinkers, than the larger girls, this will help keep the media damp longer so that you don't have to water as much. All right, have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next one.